Hey everyone, welcome back. I am at the end, the tail of my no by month. I am going crazy, I need a fix. So I thought, let's go pretend online shopping together again, but this time to be different from every other video that I did like this, I thought we could take a look at some luxury retailers. So those e-commerces that have a more high-end selection that maybe we think two, three times before actually taking the plunge. And I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on how I believe you should go about doing more strategic shopping for luxury and not spend your money on things that are not worth it. If unlike me, you are allowing yourself the pleasure of shopping, I will leave all of the products that I think are worth it in the description down below. But I have a lot to get into, so let's get started. We're going to start with Modo Perandi. Now, Modo Perandi is not very popular. When I talked about it in one of my videos, I don't remember which one, many of you said that you didn't know it, that you hadn't heard about it. It is basically the e-commerce of Lauren Santo Domingo. If you don't know who Lauren is, and I am talking like I know her personally, which I don't. She is a fashionista, an icon of style. She has been in fashion publishing for years, and she is is one of those it girls that everybody in fashion loves. She has a style very similar to ours, so classy, sophisticated, with a little twist, fashionable but not fashion victim, which I think is great. Given that she has these amazing connections in the fashion world, I believe that Modo Perandi selection is really special. Something else that they're very famous for are their trunk shows, so if you ever see something on fashion week that you are dying to get, chances are you might actually actually find it on their e-commerce as well. So let's get to it. Let's go to the new section. It's also a great way of finding new brands. So if you're kind of tired of the same old, same old that you see everywhere, going on their website is a great way to inspire yourself and know those sort of under the radar brands that not only look great, but might also cost a little bit less. This is a brand I never heard about. It's called Mato. Oh, this is lovely. I really want a swimsuit like this for the season. I think that the more square neckline is so pretty if you're wearing high-waisted linen shorts or maybe a skirt with a belt. I think it looks fabulous as well as a swimsuit. They also have little dresses, trousers. This is a very interesting line. Striped cotton shirts and the prices are very fair. If we look at materials, let's open one of these up. For instance, a printed silk shirt, 100% silk for $420. Not cheap, but it is what you pay for in this material, especially when it has a print or in a specific color that you're looking for. I think it's worth spending a little bit more money. I love this type of shirt, especially during summer because you guys know how I feel about shirts. You can really style them however you want to. In the picture, they made it a little bit more masculine and relaxed with a bandeau top and some high-waisted shorts and some sandals sandals, but you can also make it more feminine, maybe buttoning it up, wearing a midi skirt, an A-line skirt, even with palazzo pants, you can wear a scarf underneath. I think this is gorgeous. This is also a brand that I never heard of. It's called Posse. Guys, this is beautiful. It's basically all linen and cotton. <gasps> Okay, if you're looking for a brand to get those summer basics, this seems to be a total gem. And the prices are oh, fantastic. Someone get something, please, for me. For instance, this little cotton dress, the color and the detail on the shoulder. I love one shoulder dresses for summer. I think they are the epitome of lounging in a resort, bronze skin, cold drink in your hand, having the time of your life. And the fact that this is in a bit of a more rustic material kind of allows it to be worn in the evenings, maybe with some more high-end accessories and also during the day with flip-flops and a straw bag. This looks 
fantastic and $175, which for a 100% cotton dress that looks this well made, I think it's pretty fair. They have oversized linen shirt, linen, <laughs> linen shirts and pants. This dress is also fantastic. If you don't want something that is in a mini length, going for something like this that is meaty but has a slit can also be a great look. Again, a cotton blend that has a little bit of ruching around the waist area, which always gives it beautiful movement and sort of hugs the body. And again, you can see that they styled it in two ways. So you find a picture of it with a more elevated, more formal styling. And then there is also a more casual one with just some flat sandals and the hair back. This is one of the details from high-end e-commerce that I like so much. They always have great styling. So even if you're not going to get a piece, you get inspired by it. And if you are getting it, you actually see that piece in action. So you see how you can wear it multiple ways or with other pieces that you might have in your wardrobe. So if you're making an investment, you know that you will be wearing that piece in many different ways. This one is a brand that I have been stalking for a while on their e-commerce. It looks freaking amazing. It's called Agua by Agua Bendita. It is a Colombian brand and they make the most amazing prints and dresses. Girly, not too romantic, but a little bit frilly. They make bathing suits that look gorgeous. They make these beautiful dresses, tops. I like this more than I like Zimmerman. You guys know me, I'm not that much into a lot of prints, but when they're done well like this, I am absolutely obsessed. Let's take a look at the dress that we saw first. First of all, I love the length of it. I think that this is the type of length that during spring summer can be so surprising because we're so used to seeing people in mini tiny micro skirts. So whenever someone is wearing something a little bit longer, it looks immediately more chic. I also love the details of the bows around the shoulders and around the rib cage. The fact that the back of it is a little bit more cut out, but the front is cut Covered is also a great way of not only keeping cool during summer so you're not just completely covered up by fabric but it adds a little bit of sultriness a little bit of spiciness without being too over the top the print is super lovely i love how they chose the colors i love the combination of this pink with a little bit of green i think it's so complementary and great with a bronze in terms of pricing, it's a little bit expensive, but it is a piece just like a Zimmerman dress. It's that print that makes you look pretty romantic, feminine, and it looks like something that cannot be done in a Zara or in a Mango or in an H&M. It's special. So I believe that whenever you see something like this, it's worth the investment. Mac and Mac. Now, Mac and Mac is the brand of the moment. The whole kind of party Cinderella shoes, very glittery, very sparkly, is very in right now. Specifically, I think because we were locked up for so long, so people want to dress up, go out, really enjoy their wardrobe. And Mac and Mac is very known for their glittery shoes. This extremely famous now tubular bow covered in rhinestones that people love. I particularly am not a huge fan. I think it is a little bit overboard. The fact that the brand does a lot of these styles also in PVC, which is basically a plasticky material, really makes them a no-no for me. I don't know how they will last through time. I think they might look very dated, very fast. So if you are looking for the it shoes to have at the moment, these are it. But don't expect them to still be in in about a year or so. Whenever I am on these really high-end e-commerces, I know this isn't very chic. It might be a little bit gauche. 
but I always like to sort things from low to high just to see what's in there. Maybe there's some great opportunity that I'm missing. For instance, Sparty and Rich. Sparty and Rich is a brand that I completely adore from Instagram. They just make a leisure, which I would never wear for real life, but maybe for working out totally they have this sort of vintage 80s country club aesthetic that i think is so fun they're always selling out on their own website so if you're looking for sparty and rich and you cannot get your hands on it go to modo Prandi. apparently they have them i think i told you guys this before but in my underrated brands video i talked about valer and i discovered valer here on modo Prandi. so they always also have really great accessories and jewelry so let's take a look at their jewelry section and they have a really nice selection for instance this brand benamoon i've never heard of it but i can already tell you that i love it these earrings are fabulous the quality of the piece seems really really great the ridging on the surface and the roping gives it a little bit more detail that cobalt blue that is super intense and striking it is 190 dollars for a pair of earrings but this is the type of fashion jewelry that you will have for the rest of your life and i do think that it is neutral enough that you can wear it with multiple outfits and in different occasions you can see on the model how beautiful it looks let's see their brand page because i have a feeling that they do a lot of nice things yeah a lot of chain necklaces beautiful gold plated chain bracelet i love this type of bracelet because it is statement but very neutral and easy to pair with anything look at that gorgeous type of point of light around your wrist these ones as well very 80s beautiful worn over the sleeves of a shirt for instance so you can wear them during spring summer with your arms bare and over a shirt during the colder months guys wait this one someone has to get you always ask me what are the essential jewelry pieces you need in your wardrobe this is one a gold plated clip on button earrings this is the type of earring that i could wear every freaking day if you look at the styling look at the model imagine this look without the earrings with the earrings it looks very finished it looks very fashionable very stylish without the earrings it looks blah too masculine a little bit too laid back, too relaxed. These earrings will always, always serve you right. It's the first pair of earrings you have to have in your collection. I'd say even more than studs and even more than pearl earrings. Crucify me, okay? On their trunk show section, I wanted to show you guys what I meant by trunk show. So they have these little collections edits like this one which is a home edit they sometimes do jewelry edits sometimes they have little kind of dominations or shopping shops with brands that aren't really diffused or very popular and they also have the trunk shows from the fashion week whenever fashion week is on let's take a look at their moda archive and rebag trunk show personally if i could and had to buy a bag right now i would go second hand just because i prefer the styles from the past i think the prices are also a little bit more fair and it is something that is becoming very fashionable very acceptable it's not a weird sort of shady thing to do the secondhand market is very legit right now and you find a few you know unexpected items some models that are not produced anymore some colorways that will never be available you're able to buy hermes you're able to buy chanel without having to get to a threshold of i don't know how many purchases and how many thousands of dollars i'm not an expert if you want more information about this go to sophie show head or go to lux purse love if you can buy new and you want to buy new buy new but if you want to find something maybe a little bit more special and you don't want to go overboard secondhand is a great option 
Okay, that is enough with Modo Brandy because I could spend literally hours and hours and hours here and never leave. So let's go to Netta Porter. Netta Porter for me is the place to go for essentials. They have an amazing array of products that are those building blocks to your wardrobe that are very high quality, so are going to last a lot and will be those pieces that you come back to whenever you need to style something, whenever you need to build a look. For instance, let's take a look at their blazers because I'm always talking about blazers. I've shown you a lot of options that are a little bit lower in price, so let's look at something that is a little bit higher starting with the blazer that launched a thousand ships the balmain blazer this has become so iconic and it has a reason for that the construction of it is amazing the proportions of it in the body this little triangular closing that opens up a little bit at the end makes it not too stiff and also brings the eye in so you're creating sort of an x right in the middle of your body making it look cinched in sort of hourglassy the structured shoulders also make you look more polished and more confident the only thing that lately has been putting me off are the buttons and i get that they are a design feature of a bowman blazer but if i had the budget for one of these i would probably switch the buttons for maybe something covered in leather maybe a mother of pearl maybe something in a bone just so that it is not so easily recognizable ball month so you have that beautiful structure but you don't have that element that screams a brand that that is something that i personally don't like i would keep the buttons and whenever i get tired of the old ones i'd switch up to the original and have that sort of flexibility to the piece but absolutely if you have money and you want to get yourself one blazer for the rest of your life a balman i do believe is the way to go however if you don't want to spend over two thousand dollars in a blazer theory does also amazing suit work and construction with tailoring i actually had the pleasure of working with theory for my daytime job so i know how focused they are on the sourcing of their materials on the way that they cut their clothes on how they want them to fit this is a very basic blazer that might seem a little bit boring like this in a flat lay but once you see it on the model there a few details that to me speak huge volumes the dimensions and the proportions are almost perfect i think the width of the sleeve the length of it the fact that it is a little bit shorter makes it slightly cooler i do believe that theory has also more traditional blazers but this one is a little bit more laid back and great for wearing for instance in a warmer month or if you want to pull this off with a cuff from a shirt this length of sleeve will highlight that the lapels are beautiful it is one button but it's not floppy or too large so even though you don't have that double closure from the Balmain blazer you still look very much slim and cinched in great with a bracelet like here in the styling they added a bracelet so again that charter sleeve great for highlighting anything that you would have next to your wrists we looked at Mac and Mac on Modo Perandi, but I would like to see the shoes from Netta Porter because they not only have an amazing array of basics, but they are one of the few resellers of Manolo Blahnik, which you guys know is my favorite shoe designer. I have nothing from him. If you want to send something my way, feel free. Manolo, are you listening? <laughs> Please. I adore Manolo Blahniks. I think that their design is so refined, yet very interesting and just chic. For instance, these sandals. They're a lovely, beautiful piece. The buckle is so charming. I love the heel. It has a little bit of that curve, not so much as an Amina Moadi. Wait, let's compare. Amina Moadi is also a designer that is really hot right now and they have this tile of heel that it has almost a trapeze on the bottom of the heel so it's very dramatic in terms of shape 
I wouldn't wear it. I think it's too much for my style. But once you look at a Manolo, there is a little bit of a curve. You can see it on this picture as well, but it's not too much. So you still get a design detail, but it's not overwhelming if you're a classic loving girl like me. The color is also absolutely delicious. I mean, the black would be the natural choice, but this pink for summer with some red toenails, beautiful breezy dress, even with capri pants, they have all of the classic models like the Hungisis, they have the BBs, the May Sale is also a very iconic one. If you have the budget, you know where to go. Let's do the same thing that we did on Modo Perandi. Let's sort this by lowest price. I love that immediately some essential basics just pop right into the screen. For instance, this Riley Matte Vegan Leather from Tikis, is it the name? It's the type of thing that you might look and you say, this is silly, this is boring, I already have a thousand like this, but do you really have some leather looking flip-flops in your closet or do you have some rubber ones? Because there is a big difference between wearing rubber flip-flops with a pair of beautiful white jeans, which is what the model is wearing right now, and some leather ones, just saying. Not all flip-flops are created equal from the same brand. These metallic leather ones are gorgeous. I am always here for gold metallic sandals for summer, especially when they're this minimalistic and thin. Look at how the model is wearing them. I would wear this to dinner when I'm out on vacation. Absolutely beautiful kind of satiny white dress, kind of long with a Bottega pouch bag, gorgeous gold bracelet. And instead of putting on heels, you put on some metallic flat sandals. Less obvious, still very chic and very, very versatile because you can also take these flat sandals and wear them with shorts or with a dress during daytime and you're good to go. These types of pieces aren't your best friends, either if you have a small closet, if you travel a lot and you have to pack and have limited space. These items that work in multiple ways are the best. I would love to see what they have that is new in. Yeah, Netta Porter is great also for designer. They have Gucci, they have Bottega, they have uh, Cold Gaia. That same Mato shirt that we saw Mado Operandi is also here. Yeah, this is something I would shy away from. And I know it's very appealing, it's almost irresistible, but it's too much logo for me. I love how Gucci is becoming very humorous and a little bit eccentric. I think it's interesting for the brand, but it's really not my style. I much prefer something that is a little bit more neutral, but I do get the appeal. It's really, really cute. I would much prefer to go for something like this. It is a piece that is very classic in terms of design. The colors are a little bit more fun. So even though it is a classic blue, white, red combination, the red is more of a salmony red. So brighter, more fun. You get the logo, but it's almost imperceptible because it is in the perforated effect of the knit. This is a perfect piece. I would totally get this. Totally, 100%. All that's missing is the money. And last but not least, let's take a look at Farfetch. Now, Farfetch is a marketplace. For those of you who don't know what a marketplace is, it is basically this one shop that works as a storefront to a lot of different vendors and resellers. So Farfetch has this relationship with many boutiques all around the world. Because of that, they have, I think, the most varied and the best selection, especially for those pieces that are hard to find, it bags, maybe something that is sold out, something that is very difficult to track down. They usually get it because of their network of stars that they work with. Of course, let's go to their bag section, maybe the iconic collections, just to see what is up out there. And I love how they have pre-owned as well. So just like Modo Parandi, you also get access to bags that maybe aren't available in retail anymore, normal retail. This Chanel pre-owned bag is very iconic. It's right here, first row, ready to get snatched up. Great selection of Prada, they have Gucci, Dior. Oh, 
Now this is a Chanel that I would get. It's a 1992 Mademoiselle classic flap. This is gorgeous. Okay. If you guys don't know this by now, I love this type of aesthetic. Actually, let's make this a thing. For you guys who are on TikTok, know how to work that thing, maybe let's make it trendy to look like ladies who lunch, big jewelry, haircut, tweed, skirt suit, having lunch at the Ivy with some Chanel bags like this. I can see it working. I can see it becoming a thing. If you have the occasional $19,000, you can get yourself a pre-owned Kelly in a Cellier, which is very hard to find. Saint Laurent, Gucci. The horse bit, I am very interested in the Gucci horse bit. What do you guys think? I wouldn't get it with the logos. I much prefer the horse bit in all leather because I think it's a little less striking and easier to style, but I love how it looks. I think it is so cute. The dimensions of it are perfect. I also love that it's very different from everything that I have in my wardrobe. And I do like the horse bit detail. It's one of those brand codes that even though are very recognizable, don't put me off. One of the very few, but I really love it. Yeah, with like a jacket, a polo neck, some slacks, some loafers. Could this month end any sooner? This is it, everyone. I'm going to cut this right here because uh, I could stay here, like I said, for hours and hours and hours and not even see the sun setting. What did you guys think? What do you think about luxury and high-end pieces? Do you like them? Do you feel like they're not worth the money? Are you like me and you're always trying to find a bargain even if it is in luxury? Let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully you like this video. I'm sorry if I'm only posting once this week, but I really wanted to catch up and to prepare myself because hopefully I'll be able to travel soon and I want to have content kind of saved up for you guys. If you like this video, let me know so I'll do others like it and we'll see each other again next time. Bye.